If you have been hanging around in the crypto space lately, you will have no doubt heard a lot about Tau BitTensor. This project is a particularly sore point for me because I heard about it super early. I was planning on investing in it, but just never got around to it. I would have made millions if I just followed my nose in this one. But that is crypto life, I guess. You, you win some and you lose some. In this video, we are going to look at what Tau BitTensor is why it is so revolutionary and the potential price that this project could go to. So the origins of BitTensor go back to 2019 when it was founded by Jacob Robert Steves and Ala Shabana. And apologies if I've mispronounced either of those names. I'm terrible with pronunciations. These founders saw the potential negatives of the centralized artificial intelligence systems that we are building in the world today. Modern artificial intelligence has primarily been built by the top tech companies in the world like Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Meta and Apple. Although the progress these companies have made with artificial intelligence has been fantastic and it is changing the world, it also presents a centralization problem that gives these companies way too much power. There is also an issue where the computing power required for AI is just too much for one company to provide by themselves. If one company began to take complete control and dominate AI, it could lead to a monopoly in terms of AI. And that could lead to one country becoming the AI leader and becoming much more powerful than other nations also. And this is where Tau steps in. Tau is aiming to decentralize the future of artificial intelligence, meaning that artificial intelligence won't be controlled by one central entity in the future, but will instead be dispersed among the people. Now strap in here because I'm far from a technical way is, but this is my best understanding of how Tau works. If any of you guys have anything to add or that you think is different or that I've got wrong here, by all means, please drop your thoughts in the comments section of this video because it will be helpful for me to learn and other people watching this video to learn also. So Tau BitTensor is a layer one blockchain, meaning that other apps and layer two blockchains can be built on top of it. In traditional proof of work blockchain models, for example, Bitcoin, miners give their compute power to mine a cryptocurrency. And for example, that would be Bitcoin. But that is really a complete waste of power. So Tau aims to put that mining power towards something useful. With Tau BitTensor, mining power is used to solve machine learning and artificial intelligence tasks. So miners then get rewarded in Tau for helping to complete tasks, meaning that they are incentivized to give their compute power to the system. If you want to get your AI and machine learning tasks solved, you can create a subnet on the Tau platform and from there, miners will provide their compute power to solve the tasks for you. This creates a win-win environment for all participants. Currently, companies like Google and Amazon develop their machine learning processes and their AI in what is called a silo approach. So what that means is that Amazon might be working on something today that Google solved several years ago. These companies use siloed approaches because obviously they don't want to share their success or their developments with their competitors and they don't want their competitors to know exactly what they're working on. I mean, this makes sense from a competitive point of view, but this is very inefficient of, of a, an approach to use when it comes to computing resources, especially in a world where compute resources are very scarce right now and about to become a whole lot more scarce. So with potentials, decentralized approach, any task that has already been solved in the past will be instantly solved for the new participants without the need for more computing res resources. Also, whoever that task has been solved for, so for example, if Google's using BitTensor and the task that they're trying to solve has already been solved by a project that Amazon was working on, Google isn't going to be able to see what project Amazon was working on. They won't even be able to see who originally created the task and wanted it solved. All they'll see is that their, their task has been solved instantly. So what this is going to do is create a cycle of continuous collaborative improvement rather than competitive improvement. And it's basically going to get rid of a big bottleneck in AI learning and in learning in general. So to make this a little bit easier, let's just look at an example. 
So let's take Steve here. Steve wants to build an artificial intelligence that can distinguish between pictures of cats and dogs. Now, Steve does not have the resources to create this sort of artificial intelligence himself. So he creates a subnet on the Tau network. Now miners join Steve's sub network and they begin providing their computing power to train the artificial intelligence on what a dog looks like and what a cat looks like. As the artificial intelligence learns, the miners get rewarded with Tau. Now Steve has an artificial intelligence that can distinguish between a picture of a cat and a dog. Now let's say another person comes along, another Steve. <laughs> And they want an AI that can distinguish between pictures of cats and dogs. Now, they don't have to create a subnet. They don't have to use those compute resources again. Already, an AI is trained on how to do this, and they just tap into it without having to go through the whole process again. So the roadmap for Tau is already very promising. The project is fully operational, and many decentralized apps are already being built on the network. Over the next few years, expect many more decentralized apps to be built on the Tau network, and expect many more listings on higher exchanges. So then, if we take a look at the tokenomics of Tau. Tau is built on the belief that Bitcoin got its tokenomics correct. And for this reason, Tau completely emulates Bitcoin's tokenomics. There is a max supply of 21 million Tau, just like there is with Bitcoin. As worth mentioning at this point, that the Tau, as you probably have already gathered, is mined by solving AI tasks. Then, just like Bitcoin, there is a halving event every four years that decreases the reward for mining Tau. So this should theoretically reduce the supply of Tau and increase the value. Tau was fair launched just like Bitcoin, meaning there was no ICO, no venture capitalist, no pre-release sales, so nobody is going to be dumping Tau on the market. So then if we look at the Tau team or the BitTensor team, they have a fully docs team, meaning that you can find information, any information that you want about this team. And it's led by the project creators, Jacob Robert Steves and Ala Shabana. And again, if I mispronounce that name, I apologize. So Jacob is a former Google software development engineer and Ala is a former Instacart senior software development engineer. And together they created the project called OpenTensor and OpenTensor then led to the development of Bit tensor and the release of Tau. Now this isn't a team with a huge track record of success just yet, but they seem to be very reliable and they've already developed what is clearly a very strong project. So how about the potential for Tau? And this, of course, is the most important part for us as in investors. So how high can Tau go? And at the time of creating this video, Tau has a market cap of just over 4 billion with a circulating supply of close to 6.5 billion and a max supply of 21 billion. This is a token in the artificial intelligence niche, which is by far the biggest and most dom dominant niche currently in the market. And I expect the artificial intelligence narrative to, to lead the crypto industry for the foreseeable future. This project is also a first mover and it already has a great reputation. And as we said before, it will follow the same halving process as Bitcoin and it's a much better project than Bitcoin but of course it doesn't have the the great name of Bitcoin. So for those reasons, I think Tau is one of those cryptos that could become absolutely massive. And most likely this crypto project is going to end up being a top five or top 10 cryptocurrency. My minimum expectation is that Tau will at least increase in value and I can easily see it doubling. But I do expect that we'll see Tau at a market cap of at least 40 or 50 billion over the next few years. But because Tau is such a strong project, I could see it hitting that whole 100 billion mark market cap or even much higher in the future this really is one of those projects with incredible potential and a really low risk compared to the potential reward that that you can get i don't see this as a project that's going to disappear anytime soon but like i said look i'm not a voice of authority in tau so please drop your comments and let me know anything that i got wrong and let me know what your price predictions are click the video on screen now to see how space is bringing bitcoin to the masses and currently in my opinion, is one of the most undervalued cryptos on the market. See you on the outside. <laughs>